Delroy Easton Grant, also known as the Night Stalker, is a notorious figure in the history of British crime. Born in Jamaica and later becoming a resident of Britain, Grant's criminal activities spanned over a period of 17 years, from October 1992 to May 2009, primarily in the southeast London area. Early life and background birth and early years. Delroy Easton Grant was born in Jamaica. Details about his early life, upbringing, and the circumstances that led him to move to Britain are relatively obscure. Life in Britain. Upon moving to Britain, Grant led a life that on the surface did not hint at his criminal activities. This double life played a significant role in how he managed to evade capture for years. Crimes and Modus Operandi Series of Offences Grant's criminal record is marked by a series of burglaries, rapes, and sexual assaults. His victims were predominantly elderly women, which added a layer of heinousness to his crimes. Methodology He was known for his methodical planning and execution. Grant often targeted vulnerable individuals, ensuring minimal resistance and a low likelihood of immediate detection. Nickname The Night Stalker His ability to carry out these crimes undetected over many years earned him the moniker Night Stalker. His actions caused widespread fear and anxiety in the affected communities. Investigation and Capture Challenges in investigation, the investigation into Grant's crimes presented significant challenges for the police. His careful selection of victims and lack of consistent patterns made it difficult to track him down. Breakthrough and arrest. The breakthrough in the case came through advancements in forensic science and diligent police work. In May 2009, Grant was finally apprehended, bringing an end to a long and arduous manhunt. Trial and Conviction Trial Proceedings During the trial, the extent of Grant's crimes was fully revealed, causing shock and outrage. The evidence against him was overwhelming. Conviction and Sentencing Grant was convicted on multiple counts of rape, sexual assault, and burglary. His sentencing reflected the severity and impact of his crimes, offering some solace to his victims and their families. Impact and Legacy Impact on victims and communities The psychological and emotional impact on Grant's victims was profound. The fear he instilled in communities lingered long after his capture. Lessons for Law Enforcement Grant's case highlighted the need for advancements in forensic techniques and better coordination among law enforcement agencies. Reflection and Conclusion Delroy Easton Grant's criminal activities are a dark chapter in the annals of British criminal history. His case serves as a grim reminder of the capacity for evil that can exist in seemingly ordinary individuals and underscores the importance of vigilance and advanced policing methods in protecting vulnerable members of society. Societal and Psychological Analysis Understanding the Criminal Mind Grant's case has been studied by criminologists and psychologists attempting to understand the mindset of serial offenders. Factors like his background, psychological profile and motivations have been analysed to gain insights into the mind of a serial rapist. Public Reaction The public reaction to Grant's crimes and subsequent trial was one of horror and disbelief. The fact that his victims were primarily elderly added to the public outcry and highlighted societal issues around the safety of vulnerable populations. Media coverage and public awareness role of media The media played a significant role in both informing the public about Grant's crimes and in shaping the narrative around his capture and trial. This coverage brought attention to the need for community vigilance and better safety measures for the elderly. Raising awareness. The case raised awareness about the risks faced by the elderly in their homes and prompted discussions about improving security and support systems for older individuals.
Post-Conviction Analysis Incarceration and Reflection Following his conviction, Grant's life in prison has been the subject of some interest, with questions about the nature of justice and rehabilitation for such criminals. Impact on Legal and Police Practices Grant's case led to changes in policing tactics, particularly in the areas of DNA analysis and nighttime patrols. It also influenced the legal system's approach to dealing with serial crimes, especially those targeting vulnerable groups. Broader Implications Psychological Impact on Society Beyond the immediate victims, Grant's crimes had a lasting psychological impact on society. They challenged the perceived safety of neighborhoods and trust in the ability of law enforcement to protect the vulnerable. Educational Value The case has been used in criminal justice education as a study in the complexities of serial crime investigations and the evolution of forensic science. 